peace family i'm uncle reem and this is uncle reem's reactions and today we're gonna find out if do-it-yourself acoustic panels really work <laughs> subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon as well that way you'll be in the loop or whatever else we have going on so uh, not long ago maybe like a week ago i was online looking for ways that i can improve my sound quality because i was listening to you know some of my music and also some of the videos that i've been considering putting out and i noticed that i can hear background echo in some cases and that's something that i want to resolve because when i listen to other videos of people who I really like to listen to, I find that they don't have that problem. So I, you know, decided to, you know, to look online to find ways that I can uh, rectify those problems. And I came across, uh, uh, I came across a site that pretty much said that you can install do-it-yourself acoustic paneling. And I've heard of acoustic paneling before. I even knew that, you know, you can do it yourself back in the day when. When, um, you know, my friends used to have, you know, little hood studios, sometimes they would put, you know, the aid curtains on the wall or, you know, put the styrofoam on the wall, find ways to, I guess, uh, avoid the background echo and stuff. And at that time, I didn't really realize how effective it could be. Right now, I still don't really know how effective it could be because I've never made a comparison. So today... I will get the chance to really make that comparison to find out how effective is do-it-yourself acoustic paneling. Now, I do know that uh, actual studios, they, you know, they, they spend a lot of money on soundproofing. And, you know, nothing really beats the sound coming out of a real professional studio. So I wanted to know if acoustic paneling could at least get, get us in the ballpark of the sound quality that we need to produce good videos and also to produce good music so um right now i'm pretty sure if you're listening to this portion of the video you can hear an echo in my room because now i don't have any acoustic paneling up and you know we're going to try to get some done so I, I i searched around for some acoustic paneling in terms of price i wanted to know what was the least expensive method that i can do it and what i ended up doing was look looking on Wish and other sites. I know a lot of people <laughs> say, man, I ain't ordering off Wish. Half the time, that stuff that I get it is not even what I ordered. Um, well, let me say I ordered off Wish maybe two or three times. And each time, well, actually the first time <laughs> what I ordered, it, it I, I didn't get uh, what I actually ordered. But another, the other two times, I, I was pleased with my order. And one of those times uh, was with some acoustic paneling that I ordered. So one thing that the website uh, said that I needed to get was some acoustic paneling, you know, and they have the cheap kind, the cheap foam kind. Uh, this is what I ended up purchasing. I ordered it from Wish. I really don't generally order anything from Wish, but um, I decided that since this is a pretty inexpensive purchase, it's something that I can try. And it took them around two weeks to send it to me. But when they did, it just came in plastic packages. And all together, I have 50 uh, foam panels. And this is really just some, you know, some thin foam panels. Um, and this is actually the type of thin foam pan panels that the uh, that the site stated that, uh, you know, that, that I should purchase and, and use. So um, that's what I'm going to use. Uh, additionally... Um, I purchased some command strips and you can get these at Home Depot or, you know, any like hardware store. Um, they have them at Home Depot in the hardware aisle. Um, just, just to let you guys know that I'm not my, I'm not funded by either of these companies that I just stated. I'm not funded by Wish or Command Brand, but um, this is what was suggested on the site that I was on. Uh, command strips as well as 
uh, Velcro sticky back. You can also pick this up at Home Depot and it will be right in the same vicinity as the command strips. So uh, this is all we really need. We need acoustic, you know, the foam acoustic paneling, the command strips and the Velcro sticky backs. And uh, might I add that uh, on the site, it stated that this is a safe way to install do-it-yourself acoustic paneling that won't do any damage to your wall. So that was also important to me because I'm a renter. And when you're renting, you don't want to mess up. Uh, you know, you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to make modifications that would uh, affect uh, the property. So that's something that I was real careful of avoiding. So that's what, you know, so when I found this site, uh, what really made it attract me is the fact that uh, the method they presented uh, would be safe and wouldn't uh, negatively affect, um, you know, where I live. So, uh, yeah. So um, the first thing we were instructed to do was to stick uh, one of the Velcros on each of the panels that we would use. So I'm gonna take one, take the Velcro sticky back and put it on the panel. The next thing that we need to do is simply take the command strip and also So, stick the command strip on the panel. And that should be enough to hold the, uh, the panel to the wall. So, you'll see how that works. And I'm going to do that for each of the panels that I'm going to use. I'm going to do it in a particular pattern. So, we'll see when we get it up on the wall. sticky back stick that like right at the top center of the panel and we take the command strip and stick that on to the sticky back and I will do that for each of my 50 panels I won't do that right now <laughs> I'll just show you the results because that would be a bit time consuming Okay, so we completed the do-it-yourself do acoustic paneling. Um, it was a tremendously easy job. Something that I didn't know was that the either the Velcro or the command strips will work by themselves. Uh, so the site that I utilized, um, they kind of had it wrong um, because I, I managed to, you know, be able to use the Velcro by itself on some of the uh, panels and I use the command strips by themselves on other panels. Uh, those Velcros and those command strips, they're a little bit pricey. So, um, you know, use those sparingly. Um, but the uh, the foam that we use for, for the paneling is pretty lightweight. So those Velcros and those command strips, they can hold something up to five pounds in some cases. And some of them even, you know, they, they vary in terms of weight uh, capacity, uh, you know, when you go to wherever you go to purchase them. Like I said, I purchased mine from Home Depot. Uh, you can look at the varying weight capacities. So um, so those command strips can be used by themselves or the Velcros can be used by themselves. You use them together, you'll, you're wasting money. So another thing that I, um, that I uh, forgot to mention earlier was that um, if you wanna have an even space between your panels, as you can see on my back wall, um, I do have an even space between my panels and the way that I was able to do that was I used something to keep space like you can use a ruler or a book whatever you want to use to keep space um, you know you can do that so um, we only need to us uh, we only need to place the paneling in areas uh, where echoes frequently occur um, I did get to hear a sample of you know the way that it sounds now 
versus the way that it sounded earlier. And yes, it does make a difference. And it's a it's a pretty clear and considerable difference. Um, there's still a little background, but um, just based on the, the fact that this only costed a few dollars as opposed to all of the, you know, all of the hundreds and thousands of dollars you would probably spend getting it professionally, uh, you know, soundproofed uh, with acoustics. Um, I think this is pretty good. Um, and uh, again, um, this is just a starting point. Uh, as you know, as we grow and you know we obtain more finances, we can you know make better improvements to our studios. But this, of course, for for those who aspire to you know to do YouTube videos or to have your own recording studio, this is a you know this is a really really good way to uh, cut some costs and to improve your sound quality. Uh, you know, for for a really low price, and it's safe for your walls, just in case you're renting a space. And there's stipulations in how you uh, you know you know and stipulations in your cos in, in your cosmetics. Some people don't allow certain things, so that's important as well um, when you're um, you know when you're improving your um, studio space. So uh, thank you all for listening. Um, please comment anything you know and please place in the comments uh you know what you think about it if you you know if you agree that um that it's a considerable difference in terms of acoustics and uh if you have any ideas or any things that you did yourself for, for those of us who, who have our own home studios you know what are some things uh you did and what are some suggestions that we can make to improve our studio thank you uh don't forget to like comment share and subscribe peace Thank you.